don't know. <laughs> it's just so great, all the pictures. 27 years later, here we are celebrating Glenn Hurricane Schwartz. As he bids farewell to hey. NBC10. What a ride, Glenn, it's been. Yeah. Hometown kid, you can mm -hmm. do this in your hometown. Career yeah. filled with unforgettable moments. We've been reliving them all this month right here in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. NBC10's Rosemary Connors has a look back now. Not too many people have the fortune to be able to decide when you're in the fifth grade what you want to do, and then you get to do it. Looking back on his 50-year career as a meteorologist, Glenn Hurricane Schwartz is retiring with no regrets, even though he failed one of his first assignments at his first on-air job in Atlanta. Of course, the first thing they did was send me to a speech therapist to get rid of my Philadelphia accent. This didn't really work out too well. Fate would bring him back to his hometown where his accent would be welcome, and where the people would embrace him. Congratulations. I still think you're too young to retire, but it's awesome. Glenn, enjoy your retirement. Have a great retirement. Hope it's full of sunny days and no hurricanes. While this hurricane doesn't plan to retire from his love of meteorology, he is proud to pass the reins here to his colleagues. What do you see for the NBC 10 First Alert Weather Team moving forward? One of the great directions that we've been going in is more coverage of climate. More than 330,000 acres have burnt. This is the story of our lifetime, of our future. And I'm very proud that the station and NBC as a whole is now going into this full time. And that gives me a lot of uh, reassurance. He is also reassured by the next generation many whom he has helped to inspire. I cannot believe I grew up watching you and you are the reason why I do the weather on television. You came to my school in eighth grade at Pendale Middle School in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. I'll never forget that moment that I was hooked. While Glenn tells me his career path was rough at times with jobs lost and plenty of moves along the way, it was all worth it to end up here at NBC 10 for nearly three decades. A more than a dream come true. I never could have dreamed that I would be in a position like this. And so I love it every day. It's a new challenge every day to forecast the weather. So even if I wasn't on TV, the forecast bug does not leave you. And even in retirement, Hurricane hopes that bug will keep buzzing. I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News. I'm mm, pretty sure it will. Yeah. So you, you. you yeah. earned some free time. Well yeah. earned. But what are yeah. you going to do? Right. How do you, you know, get used to that? We spoke to some of your um, former colleagues who might oh. have some advice oh, here at okay. NBC 10. I could use some. They yeah. have a okay. special okay. message for here you. Take a look. Except we did the forecast. Really? Exactly. That's the way. Would you call every day with a fresh forecast once you retire? <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Glenn, don't worry about the forecast anymore because when you're retired, it doesn't matter. Every day is a great day. You do whatever you want, no matter what the weather is. I guarantee you'll love it. Glenn, you have to join us now that you're retiring. We all meet very often to have lunch. And remember, you can't make old friends. Come on, this. Mention their name and you get free lunch here every time we come. We mention their name every time and they get us a special for free, Glenn. Do not sit next to Bi because you'll eat half your food. Or more. Or more. Glenn, you had a long run. It was a great run and we all appreciate the service you provided for all of us to know what was going on. Now keep running. Yeah. How sweet are yeah, they? Yeah. Now you are going to get to join them for that, right. for that know, monthly what, what lunch. What warms my heart is how happy those people are. They're all great. Yes, they were they great are. at TV. Yeah. They're great people. Mm -hmm. And I'm thrilled that they're happy and fulfilled and encouraging me to join them. That is one of the things to look forward to, but I'm not done with weather. I can't. I know you can't. Be done with weather. I'd be 90 degrees, it's 90 in years your old, and still looking yeah. at the weather. And blood. we know you have fans all over yeah. the area. Many of them who grew up, we heard, just watching you. Our mm. next surprise will show you that you have fans coast to coast. You'll like this one. Mm. Hurricane Sports, just want to congratulate you on your retirement. Whoa! 27 years. What a great number. I uh, was a big fan, obviously, uh, ah. during the winter. Snowstorms, being a you know turn on the channel and uh, see see you up there, you know forecasting what's going to come. 
uh, pretty much spot on every time. A couple, couple stories a little off, but it, you know, we, it, that's what uh, weathermen do, you know what I'm saying? So I uh, just want to congratulate you again uh, on retirement and uh, enjoy it. Uh, may, may I tell you, I, I have like over 20,000 Twitter followers. And that was the most proud I was. I mean, I saw one day that Mike Trout followed me on Twitter because, you know, he's a weather nut. And, you know, he's yes. been on the Weather Channel and everything. That is unbelievable. That's it. And, and I'm going to go to the game next weekend when the Angels are in town. You know, maybe uh, I could pose for a picture with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is that yeah. for a surprise? Yeah, That's let's nice. See. Wow. You like that one? And yeah. Yeah. The only thing better is if he played for the Phillies. <laughs> yeah, we were trying. I know. We were trying a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. And I would have loved that, and you all would have loved that, because that's a center fielder. That's the center fielder. All right, we've got um, nice with. I'm still shaking. You're verklempt. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, beautiful day at the beach. You can see the waves. And it's much cooler there, low 60s, while it's in the mid-70s in Philadelphia. Uh, in case you didn't hear about this before, the Eagles gave me this for 27 years, so that's why I'm wearing number 27. Anyway, um, there's the, some clouds that are going to be moving this way. This upper air low in the middle of the country, this is going to cause some problems. It'll trigger some potential severe thunderstorms on Friday afternoon and be too slow to move out to clear us out for Saturday, the way it looks. N nothing more than an isolated shower or two during the day tomorrow. And then on Friday, we're dry in the morning. Drive to the shore in the morning if you can, because look what happens later in the day. That's when the storms come in, potentially strong, gusty winds. Tomorrow's a good day to travel, too. Just cloudy skies, near 70 degrees. And Saturday, here come some showers. That, that's the Friday uh, storms. And here comes the Saturday. Now, it's not a washout, but we do expect some showers or storms to develop during Saturday afternoon. But eventually, that system moves out. And Sunday and Monday are looking good. Rain chances tomorrow are not zero, but they're pretty low. And then they really increase for Friday, still fairly significant for Saturday, but really drop on Sunday. So as the rain chances drop, the temperature goes up. The worst weather looks to be Friday afternoon and night. Some showers or thunderstorms in the area Saturday will have to be dodging those. Keep your phones handy watching the radar. But Sunday and Monday look pretty nice. And then after that, boy, does it get hot. Three days in the mid-90s.